Gentlemen, uh, the Honorable Commissioner of Police, the DSS Director, Civil Defense, uh, Army Commandant, and all heads of security organizations here present, members of the press. Executives of our great party, the All Progressives Congress, both at world, state, and national levels. Ladies and gentlemen here, good morning. Good morning. My name is Ali Mohammed Magashi, and I am the chairman of the APC gubernatorial primary elections that held today in Cross River State. Seated with me are my colleagues, the Secretary of the Committee, Honorable Abida Kuromotayo, Mr. George Izua, Mr. Tom Zakari. Barrister Nat Ngozi Keocha, Barrister Ayodele Akinsoya, and we have been here now for the last 48 hours going through the process of conducting this election. And this process has now as you all know, this is a family affair. It is an exercise that is to bring out one person that will represent our family, the All Progressive Congress, in the next coming national election for the governor of Cross River State early next year. I would like our party members to please understand and be reminded that this is a family affair. And as a family, whoever emerges, the internal battle is ready. The whole family should come together and prepare for the war that we're about to face with the rest of the parties. In an election process like this, where there are many candidates, only one can emerge. And it is not a matter of victor and vanquished. It is just a matter of victory for all. When we have it at the back of our mind that the war we're about to face with the other parties early next year, our objective is to make our own party to be the victor of this part, of this process. And until we unite ourselves as the room that we are and be tied together with all our resources and prepare for the battle. As I said earlier, this process started yesterday. We reached out as much as we could. We started with the security organizations, all the heads of security organizations. I would like to say a big thank you to them for the kind of cooperation they have given us to see to it that this exercise held in a very safe atmosphere. To our umpire, the resident electoral commissioner, we also say thank you to you and your team for monitoring this process all the way through.
to the members of the press, you have been wonderful. Keeping you this late, I know, is a great sacrifice. To the rest of members of our party, I say a big thank you to you for the orderly behavior and the atmosphere that you created for this process to happen so successfully. Today, the 1st of October, well, we're already on the 2nd of October. On the 30th of October, we started this process. And yesterday, the 1st of October, the voting process started. And this process was monitored by INEC all through all the elections at the world, to the coalition at the local governments, to what we're doing here today. So again, to INEC, I say a big thank you. To the police, to the DSS, to the civil defense, to the Nigerian army, and to all security organizations, again, I say a big thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the big moment has come. The election has taken place and the results have been collated. What we have in front of us here today is a total number of accredited voters of 106,000 212. 106.212. The total number of valid votes were 101095. 101.095. The total number of invalid votes are 117. The total number of votes cast are 101,212. The results, therefore, go as follows. Pastor Usani Uguru Usani, 1,778 votes. Pastor Usani Uguru Usani, 1,778 votes. John Upan Ode, 3,892 votes. John Upan Ode, 3,892 votes. Professor Inyong Ayo, 5,786 votes. Professor Inyong Ayo, 5,786 votes. High Chief Adam Duke, 7,000 367 votes. High Chief Adam Duke, 7,367 votes. Senator John Oaneno, 82,200. <laughs> Senator John Owan Eno, 82,272 votes. By the powers conferred 
on me by the National Working Committee of our great party, the All Progressives Congress. I, Ali Mohammed Mageshi, in my capacity as the chairman of the gubernatorial primary elections in Cross River State today, having compiled the words and local government's results, I announce that Senator John Owen Eno is declared winner of this election. Senator John Owen Eno is declared winner of this election. John Owen Eno as the winner and candidate of our party. Now, ladies and gentlemen, especially members of our party, this is just the, the new beginning. We have finished our internal battles. Now it is time to sit and prepare for the war which is the election against the other parties. I would like to call on all